Hi guys, this is Kez. Welcome to another one of my videos. Today, instead of doing a sorting through my wigs video, this one's slightly different because I've actually got some new wigs that have come from Shine or Shein, however you want to pronounce it. So I thought I'd just show you those. Just a little touch on the makeup that I've got on today. The foundation is another new one that I got with some points from Boots. And it's the collection, which is quite cheap. The Hydra Serum Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid in it. It's a lightweight foundation that can be buildable and gives quite a natural look to it. My eyeshadow I'm wearing is from the Alter Ego Artemis palette, which is a dupe for the Natasha Denona palette metropolis i actually have both and they're quite similar obviously the more expensive ones better quality but you know if you want a cheap alternative it's quite good my lipstick is kvd a go go and the eyeliner that's green on there is by urban decay and i've just popped a little bit of stuff on my brows as well which i use the p louise brow stuff in espresso and I've also used my favourite pink honey to glue them down a little bit to give them more definition. Mascara is from Essence and is their Double Trouble Mascara, which is really, really good. And I've just put a little bit of blush off by Bourjois on my cheeks and added a little bit of a highlighter from Kiko. So that's that bit. So I'm going to pop on the wig cap and then I'm excited to share these new wigs with you. This is the first time that I'm trying them on, so you guys are seeing them as I'm seeing them. I thought it would be a nice video to do. Just because I'm giving them a quick try, I'm not going to clap my hair today. and I'm just going to wrap it up. This is the other way I do it with my wigs. I'm going to put it in a French roll, push it as close to my head as I can and just tuck it under. If I was going out in them, I would plait it so it was closer to my head. But since we're just looking at them on, it doesn't really matter too much if there's a little bit of a bump at the back. Okay, I'm excited. This is the first one. This one came with a wig cap. The others didn't. It doesn't say anything else on it, but it's a ginger one. It is a lace front, as you can see. And it does look like it's ear to ear lace and it does have wig grips in it as well. The lace is still on this because I've not tried it on. I'm going to try it on with the lace to show you what it looks like and then I'll cut the lace. So whenever you get a new wig, it does take a little bit of playing with to get it right. Especially at the moment because I need to fold all my hair under it. Okay. So that is the wig with the lace attached. The lace is quite long, as you can see, comes all the way down to here. Reminds me a little bit of um, Merida from Disney, which I think is beautiful. It's a really pretty wig. I would suggest you do this off your face unless you know what you're doing, but I tend to do it on because I want to see where the line goes. I usually make like a V shape just there to start with. And I don't take it up too high because you can always take more lace off, but you can't add lace back on. So it's always best to cut longer than you need it and then you can always adjust it. And when you get to this point, you've got to decide whether you want to leave the ear flaps on so that you can glue it down. It is a good idea if you want to. Uh, so if you're going to do that, you would cut straight down here like that. If you didn't want to leave the ear flaps on to stick down, then you could cut that bit off as well, but I've deliberately left it on because it's hidden by the hair anyway. I say this lace is completely invisible. It's fantastic. It's really good quality, which I was surprised by because I didn't expect it to be, if I'm honest. I mean, I've had some good wigs from Shine before. Now, when I get to this ear, because I want to leave the ear tab on, I'm going to start where I want the ear tab to stay on and just cut up. As I say, you can do this on a dummy head. You don't have to do it on yourself. But I am and I'm following the hairline because it's got that like heart shape. Now I've deliberately cut the lace sort of staggered so it's not all in one place just so that it looks more natural and that could literally be glued down if you wanted it to. It's a little bit too high around the ear tabs so I'm just going to take a little bit off at the back there. So now that goes around my ear But yeah, I'm really impressed with that. It's beautiful. It has got that sort of a free part style to it. So you could change which side that you have the, the majority of the hair. You could put it that side or you could have it this side. 
I'm keeping it this side because it hides the lace. But look how invisible that lace is. That's amazing. That's probably one of the best lace fronts I've seen. The wig itself is beautiful. I mean, it's literally just come out of the bag. And if you just finger comb those waves through, it's stunning. Really, really pretty. So I think I'm really happy with that one. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is another lace front. And this has got red roots and then it goes into black. The first thing that strikes me about this wig is how, how well it mimics natural hair. It is synthetic, but it literally does feel like human hair, which is quite unusual with synthetics. Not all of them are that nicer quality, especially not cheaper ones. These were actually in the sale, so I think I paid roughly about £30 each for them, which is really good for wigs. I'm just going to cut the tag off. This is a slightly less lace and it doesn't go as far down, but it's still quite nice lace. And it's got really big thick combs in the back and the sides to hold it in place, which is great. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. I'm quite surprised with that. Now I would probably put a black wig cap under it because you can see the line from my wig cap just there. But if you were wearing a black one, that wouldn't happen. Although there's a little less lace, it is still quite invisible. So I'm just going to remove that lace. Right, I did cut that lace a little bit further back. But again, that lace is invisible. You can't see it. It's actually here. You can see it if I hold it up there. But that's where the lace is. Now, I didn't leave room for ear tabs on this one because it was very small. But I don't think it would need glue in any way. And that is stunning. That is so pretty. I really like that. As I say, I would wear a darker cap under it so you couldn't see the line. But other than that, or you could wear it with a headband as well. You know, the little bands that go around and you still wouldn't see it. But that is so pretty. Again, no shedding coming out of it. I've just done the test. I usually run my hands through the ends to see if any comes out. And except for the bits that I cut the lace with, it hasn't. So that is another one that I'm really impressed with. They are really up in their game in the wig market. This one isn't a lace front and it has got that top bit that I'm not usually so keen on. But because it had a random colour stripe through it, I couldn't resist because it's ginger and blonde. Now the fringe is quite long on that. They always come that long so that if you want to cut them in, you can do. But I think it will probably need a trim. You could try and just push it to the side like that if you wanted. And that would work. You can see it's also got blonde underneath here as well. I mean, the hair is really nice quality. The part doesn't look very realistic on it. So you can tell it's a wig, but I don't mind that too much. I've just got to decide whether I want to keep the fringe like that or whether I want to cut a fringe in. If I cut a fringe into it, I'd have to maybe take not that much off maybe to make it a fringe but i think it would probably look quite nice with a fringe so we'll see but i'm not disappointed with it it's a nice wig i'm more impressed with the lace fronts but i expected that because as i say i knew that it would have that sort of cap there is a little bit of shedding with that one as well not a lot but I'm just going to show you this one before I cut it. This is how far the fringe comes down, which means if you wanted to sweep it to the side, you could. And quite easily have either longer bangs or even a full size wet fringe if you wanted to play with it for a little while. I'm going to cut a fringe into mine, so I will come back and show you when I've done that. And this is it now that I've cut the fringe into it, which I really love. I've left these little bits here a little bit longer just to give it a more natural look because I didn't want it to look too artificial. This bit just needs a tiny little bit more off. Let me find it. If you cut it at an angle, it still keeps the shape. Yes, that matches up with that now. There we go. It does take a bit of playing with sometimes because if you are trying to cut things in 
that aren't already there, like the bangs that I'm trying to add. You have to sort of work out how much to remove to get it to look normal. See this bit here you can tell is it still needs trimming. So I'm just going to do that again and just do it at an angle to keep it natural. And I just let the scissors progress to the end of the hair. So you know when you've got to the bit that you need to finish cutting because it won't stand out as looking odd anymore. There you go. They're not completely even on purpose because I want it to have like a natural hair appearance. I don't want it to look too much like it's been staged. And that's another reason for moving your scissors up and down and feathering the effect. I say you will see parts that are on the same strand that will naturally look out of place if you've not cut in the right place on a synthetic wig. So it's easy just to trim those in to match. And then you can see now that there isn't any little bits hanging loose. So I know that I've cut that to the right bit. I really love this one now. I have feathered the fringe a little bit. And so to do that, you hold the scissors up that way and cut up, snip into it. And that gives it more of a feathered appearance rather than a straight across. If you wanted it straight across, you just hold the comb there and literally snip all the way across and try and keep it as straight as possible. I tend to do mine on my mannequin head. I have measured my mannequin head and the eyes and the head, forehead, sit in the same place as mine. If they don't, you can always measure yours and mark it on your head as to where it would be. That way it's sitting in exactly the right place. It's easier to trim it off the head and then just adjust it a little bit if you need to afterwards, because that way, sometimes the heads are slightly longer than yours, like with mine, because I've got a small head. I have to make sure that I cut the bangs here. If I'd have carried on doing it on the head, I'd have pulled all that off and then it looks too short. So I cut to about the eyes and then I stop and leave a little bit and then check the rest against my own head so that I get it in the right place. I hope that helps someone if they're trying to cut fringes in. But yeah, I love it now. I love that little pop of blonde in there. It really is quite a pretty wig and well worth the money. It was very cheap. I think it was about £10, something like that, in the sale. Now this is another one with the skin top on it. But again, I couldn't resist because it's two colours. Oh, that's cute. I do like that. The fringe will need trimming on it because, as I say, they always come long anyway. But I would probably take quite a bit off that fringe. Take it up to about there, maybe. But the style, if I just push it back just to show you what it would look like with the fringe done properly. Obviously, the fringe would be lower, so you wouldn't see the wig cap. But just so that you get an idea of what it would look like with that fringe. And you've just got that little bit of, I think it's like a very light ashy blonde just poking through there. So yeah, I like that. That means the tag can come off it now. So I just thought that I'd show you the wig and that I cut because of the fringes. This is it now with the fringe in. I've cut the fringe to be sort of quite feathery rather than blunt across just because it suits my head shape better. You can see that little white blonde poking through, which is quite nice. I do wish that you could see more of that because you can only sort of see it when your head moves. It would be nice if you could sort of see it more, like if it was there. But I suppose you could always pin the sides back if you wanted to show it off a little bit more. But that's what that one looks like with a fringe. Now this one looks very similar to a hair cube wig. It doesn't say hair cube on, but it's similar. And it's a rooted style blonde. It has got a fringe again. I keep saying I'm not going to buy the ones with fringes, but then I do. The hair on this synthetic does actually feel like real hair. I will say that it's really nice quality. Look really good in the picture. You can't always tell from the pictures, but. Oh, yeah, that's lovely. See, that subtle root just makes it look a little bit more realistic. Love the style. You could get away with having that fringe to the side if you wanted. But I think I am going to cut it in. It's very sort of Uma Thurman Kill Bill. This 
this is another lace front. It starts off dark and fades into orange and it's long and wavy. I am going to cut the tag out of this because I know that I'm going to keep it before I even tried it on. It's got the same see-through lace as the red one. I think it's actually come from the same supplier because Shen sort of have different suppliers. Now this one, if you can see, has actually got little baby hairs. So I have to be careful when I'm cutting it not to cut them off. But with the lace on. See that lace is so incredibly thin that you can barely see it. It's beautiful. Gorgeous wig, really lovely. Just what I was hoping it would be. Okay, I've managed to cut that and keep all the baby hairs intact, which doesn't happen very often. I usually end up cutting them off by mistake. It's not really got massive ear tabs, so it would be hard to grip down. But to be honest, I don't think it really needs to be glued down anyway, because Again, it's got the combs in the side, so you could just hook it under the combs and it would stay in place. But yeah, look at that. It's really natural hairline. Really baby hairs here. Beautiful. So there you go. That is my little haul of wigs. Yes, I know I'm supposed to be getting rid of them, but I am not. I'm just collating more. <laughs> just done the test. I've pulled on the ends. No hair whatsoever has come out. So there's no shredding whatsoever with this one as well. Look at that fade, beautiful. Has got a very subtle wave to it as well. And there you go. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe. I hope to be doing some more haul videos when I get some more as well, because I think it's quite cool to be able to see them as they come out of the bag. And join me next time for more wig videos i will be continuing the series as well with the ones that i'm going through that i've already got to see whether i want to get rid of them or not so join me next time and until then take care and i'll see you soon